Revelation 2137 From the 2nd of November 1941 Internal Humility Fight against intellectual arrogance People truly fall short in their spiritual development if they don't make an effort to be inwardly humble, for then they lack grace and without grace their will to ascend is weakened. For then their nature is still arrogant and still inclined towards God's adversary. Anyone who lacks inner humility will also rarely accept divine teaching if it is imparted to him by his fellow human being, for his arrogant spirit resists it due to the adversary's influence and divine teachings strengthen the power of resistance as soon as they are willingly accepted. Consequently, that person's power of resistance is only slight. There is still too much of the spirit in him which is to be overcome, the human being still has too many flaws which characterize his imperfection. Nor will he be meek and patient as long as he does not want to bow before him whose approach he should strive for for God cannot unite with a being which still carries the arrogant spirit of its producer within itself. The human being must constantly fight this arrogant spirit within himself, he must educate himself into humility through service, he must strengthen his will to do what seems impracticable to him, to bow down and serve where he would like to rule, he must take an example from his divine redeemer, whose life was one of service in love, a service in deepest humility towards his fellow human being. If the human being endeavors to follow Jesus, he will also practice inner humility, he will fight all arrogance, he will constantly appeal for God's grace and the strength to carry out his intention will come to him. He will serve and thereby develop himself upwards. Amen.